from a young age really I've always been sort of interested in how things work and I saw just an apprenticeship in engineering as a, a way to get stuck in uh, straight from school. I knew I wanted to work in manufacturing so I, I just looked through the companies in the area. I knew that Fort Vale had a really good apprenticeship scheme so I went for it. I heard about Fort Vale through a friend and through the college as well. Did five weeks in summer before I first started my actual apprenticeship. I really enjoyed that. Then I did a year at college. I came back here full time. That I applied for the apprenticeship and I got the positions and I got offered the work experience here. Work experience always like show you how you feel about the company, how they treat you, kind of give me like a head start. It's not what I expected to be honest. I, I expected a slower start, but I feel like I fitted in very quickly. Everyone's really nice and encouraging and if you need help then uh, everyone's happy to help you as well yeah. When I went to college that gave me all the basics but when we came out here obviously it's massive difference because it's on about production times, the quality, uh, the tolerances are a lot tighter. My uh, knowledge has grown massively over the past three years. As a career progression opportunity I got offered a job in the design office and moved up to design about three years ago. I've trained as a CNC machinist. I'm not <laughs> machining anymore. They cater your needs as an individual and try and fit you with the best possible role. There's constant room for development and improvement. You know, there's always opportunities. So now I've moved on to my master's degree, which is Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, and hopefully find myself in a manager's role one day. Well, I always wanted to get into an office sort of position after working through the shop floor. It's on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm uh, making programs for alt CNC lathes, CNC millers, laser cutters. First starting thing with daunting, but then as soon as you get in there, you're working with very experienced people and they'll give you the support you need to be able to go and do it yourself. Got really good facilities, there's the gym that is completely free to uh, everyone that works here. It's all modern equipment in there. We have a lot of social events, sporting events, so I play football on Thursdays with some lads from the shop floor. I think you have to have a laugh at work, don't you? You have to find it fun. All the extra benefits help to reinforce that within the business. Yeah, the strongest thing that keeps me here is definitely the lads that work here. I've spent nearly six years of my life with them, so there is a big social side to it, and it is almost like a family. If you're looking to get an apprenticeship in engineering, I definitely recommend going to open evenings and doing courses on the side. I went to a Saturday morning club at Training 2000. Make sure you do your research. A lot of people do think sometimes that it's the easy option in a way. It's not, you're gonna have a full-time job, you're gonna have a lot of studies and a lot of work to do outside of work but if you put the effort in, it is really rewarding. I've only got about six months left of my apprenticeship. I don't just finish my education because Fort Vale will support me through my HND. Uh, they have done for the past few years for the other apprentices that have finished their apprenticeships. I've got two years, well, two and a half years left of my degree. I'm hoping to progress through the design department. So it's a very Fort Vale looking future. <laughs>